Driver series is one of the most successful in gaming history, winning awards and critical and commercial acclaim all over Europe and America. So what is it that goes into making a game like this? Like the production of any good movie, Driver 3 pulled together many disciplines and areas of expertise. For Martin Edmondson and Reflections, this was a three-year journey from the first stages of design to the finished game. Capturing the look and feel of the cities is important in creating the atmosphere of the game. Streets have been accurately recreated. Over 90,000 photographs were taken of the cities, with researchers walking over 1,000 miles to get the images they needed. It's at the heart of what Reflections has tried to do, that when you're driving a sports car, it feels like one. And when you're driving a sedan, it feels different. Every vehicle has its own weighting, handling, and its own engine sound. Reflections have modeled and tested over 70 vehicles. These range from muscle cars to fully articulated trucks, sports bikes, to flatbeds, convertibles, to forklifts. These vehicles respond to collisions and take realistic damage. Reflections built these vehicles with up to 20 detachable panels. The chassis, subframe, and engines are all modeled. So pieces actually come off the car and bumpers can hang off and trail on the ground behind them. You can also shoot the tires and the windows out of these vehicles and you can actually see the bullet holes appear as you fire into them. The accessibility of this number of vehicles with this range of damage provides endless options to how you arrive at the end of your mission. In style or in pieces. The three cities were modeled by a team of 25 artists over three years. These cities are big. 156.14 miles of drivable roads and 35,768 highly detailed buildings. Each building is modeled to incredibly high detail. In addition, Reflections have added over 70,000 other items of clutter. That's trash cans, traffic cones, trees, benches, boxes, lampposts, market stalls, crates. All the things they needed to help the atmosphere come to life. To make these living, breathing cities. Like a film, the process begins at the concept stage, then moves to a script. Unlike a film, the script has to work in tandem with the missions. It's a key part of the overall design that Reflections can weave the story and the gameplay together into a single experience for the player. Next, characters and locations are modeled. Reflections taking over 3,000 photographs of people to build up a database of textures to make their characters as lifelike as possible. Actors go to motion capture studios where their movements can be translated into data that the animators can use and apply to the characters they have built. Voice actors go to recording studios Baby, now you're gonna squeal for real. Reflections and music specialist Nimrod listen to thousands of tracks to try and find the right ones for each of the scenes.
The driver team looked across genres. They looked into back catalogs. And they looked into bands just about to break. They set out to ensure that every piece of music would complement the darkly stylish world of Driver. This is my destiny. If you've got a good product, you've got to let the people know it's out there. So Atari brought Ridley Scott Associates in to shoot the TV ad to produce a mini epic in keeping with the cinematic values that the game holds dear. Here we go. Driver 3, be good, be bad, be Tanner. And this is my destiny. My kids are going to love it.